On tonight's edition of It's All Your Money, why many people are not paying any income taxes and many others are paying a lot. Chief Washington Correspondent Jim Angle reports on the two extremes of the tax code. About 67 million Americans, almost half the nation's wage earners, will pay no income taxes at all this year, in part because the wealthy are paying a bigger and bigger share of total U.S. taxes. A little known secret is that since the Bush tax cuts, the share of income taxes paid by the wealthy has actually increased from 80% of all income taxes paid by the top 20% to now 86%. By all sorts of measures, wealthier taxpayers are shouldering more of the nation's burden than ever before, sparing those with modest incomes. The top 5% of earners in this country earn about 37% of all the income, but pay about 60% of all the, the federal income taxes. The bottom 50% of earners earn about 12% of all the income, but pay about 3% of all the taxes. Meaning the top 50% pay a record 97% of income taxes. Wage earners below about 50,000 in income can now easily escape income taxes with standard deductions and tax credits like those for children or the working poor. While that makes the tax system more progressive than it's ever been, some analysts see a risk in that. It's democratically dangerous to have a country where a majority can vote for policies that just tax the minority. And that's the situation we're dangerously coming close to. As a matter of civics, folks ought to pay something or else they think government is free and then they start voting for everything. But 